Hi guys, it's me. I'm back. I've been gone for six days. You may have noticed I haven't been posting my videos. Um, well, some of you know and some of you may not know that I'm 14 weeks pregnant. And for the last week, I've been exhausted. So I've just been able to keep up with my responsibilities and haven't even been able to exercise. So I'm, just over the past two days, I've been feeling better. And I apologize if you've been waiting for the video. I've gotten lots of emails about people who were wondering what happened to me and where I was. Well, that's where I was. I was honoring myself and, and baby and deciding that I wasn't going to push through and pretend to be happy or energetic when I wasn't. So today it's for real. I'm back. I'm feeling good. Uh, and I'm ready to share with you and kind of move on our timeline here. So the last story was about smoking those rocks and paying for my car payment. And this video is about what happened and what shifted for me when I started to realize I wanted to be healthier. Now, at the point when I had no voice and no love for myself, I was not treating myself well. So I wasn't eating well, I definitely wasn't exercising, and I was gaining weight. So I went from about 140 pounds to 175 pounds in a matter of three months. This was quite alarming. Well, my mother had struggled with a weight problem her life, and so we were deciding together that we were going to do something about this, that we were going to start doing a couple diets. So we did the cabbage diet, we did, that's where you eat cabbage all day long. I actually still like cabbage, but uh, we also exercised for... Uh, 14 days straight see if that would work didn't work we did what I call the starvation diet now which is we'd skip a couple meals to see if that would help lose weight it didn't help and one day my mom came home and she says I have these new pills this is the thing these pills will separate the fat from the food that you eat so there's now pills called Ally, Ally I think something like that now that are that are nowadays but this was quite a few years back and so I thought this was awesome. It makes sense, you know, if my body doesn't if my body doesn't absorb the fat, then I won't gain weight. So I took the pills and I went off to work. I sat at the bar, was working at Culpepper's Bar and Grill. This was still the same place I was working. I sat at the bar and I ordered some hot wings with ranch dressing and a soda. And that was my normal lunch. I didn't think anything about it. So I started working my shift. I was working an evening shift. And I'm walking around to my different tables. It is packed. I mean, you can imagine, wall to wall people. All the tables are really close together. And I'm noticing that something's strange. There's two things that are strange. One is that I'm farting all night. Now, that wasn't actually strange because at this time in my life, I was thought that passing gas regularly was normal, okay? And I found out later that it wasn't normal, that it was actually a sign of a poor digestive system or foods that don't work with your body. But at this time, I thought it was normal. So that was happening. But the second really strange thing was I wasn't getting any tips. I mean, very little tips. Sometimes I got a penny in one that was heads down. So if you've ever been a server, that is not a good thing. And I also opened another tip book and had a dollar three on like a $40 bill. It was very, very strange. So I'm just doing my thing and I'm wondering, you know, something is strange, something's off. And my friend comes over to me, grabs my arm and pulls me into the bathroom. Look at your butt. So I turn around and I look in the mirror and I have a giant circular stain on my butt, which guess what was hot wing sauce. Yes. So the entire night I had been farting and the fat from my hot wings was coming out. Gross. Ew. I know. I was completely embarrassed, completely mortified. and. I had to turn my apron backwards and go out and continue finishing my shift, do my prep work, and end up leaving for the night finally with a grand total of $10 in tips for an eight-hour shift. So you know, that's crazy, and no one else but her told me. So something that I learned that night in that embarrassing moment, what I decided was that being healthy and losing weight can sometimes be very different things. I thought to myself, this cannot be healthy. This can't be good for you, much less, you know, 
help you lose weight. So even if it did help you lose weight, gosh, is, who wants to go through this pain and torture and embarrassment, right? <laughs> so from that moment on, I started to, it started to plant a seed in my mind to think of how is being healthy different from doing these crazy things to lose weight. Now, I did a few more crazy things, and I'm going to share with you a couple more stories that, that went on and on and on, but very soon we're going to get to the place in the videos where I share with you what were the powerful tools I learned to help me lose weight, start loving myself, and find my voice. So stay tuned. I will be back very soon, and uh, this is a story about how I realized being healthy, losing weight, not always the same thing. Love you guys. This is Angelina DeWeese signing off.